Hey podcast listeners, I'm Rick Bennett, host of Gospel Tangents. If you're enjoying the show, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Please go to iTunes and write a review. It will be important feedback for me, and it will also help us attract more listeners. The more listeners we can get, the more resources we can build. Thanks again for your help, and appreciate you listening. How do you figure out Joseph Smith's DNA profile? It turns out that Dr. Ugo Perego was actually doing a lot of genealogy work in addition to doing these paternity tests, and has tied these two complex sciences together. Was Joseph Smith Irish or English? Check out our conversation. Going back to Joseph Smith, uh, so we, um, we have circumstantial evidence that uh, certain individuals were his children born outside uh, um, of uh, the Emma Joseph relationship. First things I did was uh, um, to f first reconstruct what Joseph Smith, uh, certain, um, a cer a certain components of Joseph Smith DNA look like. It's not easy because Joseph Smith is not around. You can't go to him and say, can you give me a, a saliva sample, right? Um, we can go and get his bones and test his bones from the grave, but that also has a lot of, you know, being the, uh, some sort of a high profile individual, there is a lot of red tape to be able to get to that. Um, and so the other option you have is to identify uh, documented genealogically documented descendants and um, test them, which is what I did. And in this particular case, because the first questions have to do with sons, there is a, a father-to-son piece of DNA called the Y chromosome, which determines the male gender. So all the males in the world have a Y chromosome, and that's why their males and the women do not have it. And that's why they are uh, women, and if biologically they're different. So we identify Smith descendants from Joseph Smith, and also from Hiram and Samuel and other relatives, so they're all Smith. And I had a, a pretty good uh, um, variety of uh, individuals related to themselves, to, to themselves, to each other through the Smith family, through Joseph Smith Sr. actually. And uh, I identified the Y chromosome profile, type it, so we have all the values, compare it, and then reconstructed what would have been Hiram Samuel, Joseph Smith Jr., Joseph Smith Sr., and even Hazel Smith, which is Joseph Smith Sr. father, Y chromosome. William too? Hmm? William also? William, no, I didn't find any descendants of William. I don't know if he has any living descendants. I'm not uh, as familiar with what, uh, I, d I do have descendants of one of his sister, I believe Catherine, uh, that's for a different project and uh, which uh, which I'm working on right now but uh, and that's a different DNA of course Catherine would have not have the Y chromosome so we're looking at a different thing but uh, the, the point is at a certain point I had a profile for the male line for the Smith line of Joseph Smith the reason why I did that wasn't because I was interested in the descendants and up to that point it never crossed my mind that Joseph Smith could have had children from other women. I knew uh, that uh, he practiced polygamy, but no one has ever talked about his children, so it wasn't something that it, it clicked in my mind, where are the children, right? Um, I was actually looking for his ancestry. Uh, we don't know where the Smith line came from in Europe, in England. The, the furthest back that the Smith line has been traced is in New England. You know, in uh, 16, uh, around 1620, 1630, that's when the first ancestor Joseph Smith shows up. And he's 12 years old, and he's by himself, no mom, no dad. And he comes, he shows up in Boston, right? And uh, he's an indentured servant. His name is Robert Smith. And uh, where does this kid come from, right? So then we have all the Smiths. We have Robert Smith, we have Samuel Smith, Samuel Smith, Azor Smith, Azor Smith. There are you know, two Samuel, two Azors. Then we have two Joseph. Joseph Sr. Joseph Sr. and Joseph Jr., right? Then that's, that's the line, the Smith line. And genealogists have been looking left and right in England to find the, the connection with this Robert Smith and where he came from. And no one has been able to do that. So I was reconstructing Joseph Smith Y chromosome with the goal to compare that with the Smith in England, 
and see if I could find a connection uh, with uh, with the. Uh, I'm going to have to have you help me out. I, I'm stuck in Philadelphia. I can't get out of Philadelphia. 1765. Well, we, there are ways to look. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a shot in the dark. You know, it kind of really depends if you have relatives out there that have been tested that you can connect. Same thing with the Smith family. I was hoping that there was some Smith that have been tested. I actually. At one point, believe it or not, I, um, there, there was a, um, a genealogy suspected that uh, Joseph Smith line, this, this Robert Smith, came from a particular town in uh, northern England, in the Lancashire County, the town being Curton. So I look online at the white pages, how many Smiths live in Curton, and there were 1,100. Oh, my. So I wrote to all of them. No way. And I wrote a letter to all of them. I sent 1,100 letters to Smith in Kirton. It's <laughs> unbelievable. With a swab inside uh -huh. asking for their DNA. And I had actually a, um, a good number, um, about 5% replying and sending their DNA back. And that's a good sample size of a population, 5%. And I found nothing, absolutely no matches whatsoever. Hmm. Okay. So then I started using some, some databases and uh, it came t very clear as I was exploring this possibility that I was looking in the wrong place. That's Robert Smith, they first show up in England, in, uh, in New England, was not from England. That was probably from Ireland. And, uh, and uh, he has a very specific Y chromosome profile, which is indigenous of Ireland, not of... Uh, um, no, of uh, of England, and uh, you know nowadays you can go to Ireland. They find a lot of Smiths there, but those are all English Smiths that moved to Ireland. Smith is not an Irish last name. Yeah, I didn't think so. It, and uh, and so I look at surnames origin. You know, sixteen hundred, fifteen hundred uh, documents, and uh, um, the genetics was very strong. The Joseph Smith uh, line is Irish and not English, and. Uh, very recently, there I've been talking with um, um, somebody at uh, up in Salt Lake City that uh, worked for the museum, um, Church History Museum, and uh, he does a lot of research on the Smith family as well. And he actually found some documented historical um, evidence that uh, uh, it could have been that there is hmm. an Irish an Irish paper trail. We're working on that too. See, that's funny because my, my, I did a DNA test. My dad, I'm a Bennett. My dad's Bennett. And I always assumed Bennett, Bennett's a very English name. Uh, his DNA came back. He was a lot more Irish. I mean, he has English ancestry too. But you did an autosomal DNA, right? I just did whatever the ancestry.com yeah, is. Yeah, this is a, it's a different, it's a different approach. Um, See, so you're, you look, you're, you're doing two things. You're looking at your Bennett name, which is only one of your family lines. But you did a test uh, that represent all your family lines, and you're trying to look at the Bennett in a, in a big thing. And autosomal DNA doesn't tell you which line gave you what. So, for example, if I do my autosomal test, they say I'm 20% Irish. I don't know if that came from my mom or from my dad, right? Mm -hmm. But if I'm interested in tracing my surname, I need to know if it comes from my mom or it comes from my dad. The Y chromosome bypassed that problem because uh, it only comes from the same line that the surname comes from. Mm -hmm. So there is a, it's like if no one else in your tree existed. You know, there is absolutely no contribution on the Y chromosome from anybody else. Not even your father's mother contributes. So your maternal grandmother is out. So it's only father to son. Father to father, father to son. So if you want to do a Bennett study, about the origin of Bennett, you need to buy a Y chromosome test, which Ancestry.com does not sell. Mm. There is a company called Family Tree DNA in uh, Houston. Mm. They are the um, specialists. It's for a them. more expensive test, I'll bet. It is a little <laughs> bit more expensive, but not that much. I think Ancestry.com generally runs around $99 plus shipping. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from Dr. Ugo Perego. In our next conversation, we'll talk about some other genetic testing he is doing on Joseph Smith's potential children. Yesterday, we were doing another Joseph Smith uh, um, child through um, Marinda Johnson, who was 
married to Horson Hyde, Basile to Joseph Smith. Yes. And uh, we, um, that's what we're testing right now. Oh, you're testing that yeah. now? Oh, wow. We sent the testing ye yesterday. So is, is there a, a potential child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did Absolutely. not know that. There are two, actually, that have been uh, historically linked to possibly being Joseph Smith. Click here to subscribe, click here for a transcript, and over here you'll see some other videos that we've done here on YouTube. We hope you'll use this as a valuable resource to learn more about Mormon history.